everybody, Wasasiete. So, I got a piece of Flint Ridge here. Some Ronnie Miller. Uh, came from Ronnie Miller. And we're going to see if we can do something with it. Got a number one indirect rod here. We're gonna see how that does first. This stuff tends to flake really, really easy. Number one may be all that we need. thick at the moment you can see we got well maybe you can see we got the one side flattened off pretty well um, We're going to have to bring this edge up. Just gonna try and take it real slow. You can see how far below center this is. I'm gonna try and take an indirect strike over this right here. Some inward pressure. That flake came up like this and travel over if you can see that travel over top of that and it helped help flatten that out quite a bit actually okay I'm gonna take I'm gonna grind this and I'm gonna come off this platform and try and come in here a little ways Okay, that helped quite a bit. That left this other little ridge here we could take. Or I can come in right in here. I think I'm gonna come in here. That didn't work out so great. Got a pretty good hump starting out here.
think I've probably waited as long as I can to not turn that edge. Come in right here on this platform here and try and take a chunk of that out. That did not work. using the abrader to bring the edge up some got that heater going but now it's hot 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 in here the end of that pad <laughs> it's getting worse by the minute and I just checked my tracking and it's held up in Tulsa so I won't be getting any pads till at least Monday unfortunately Try to remove this fatness.
fishy stick away. got a mess going on on this side and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be difficult to take off there but um sure seem to be having a few difficulties Sorry, I'm kind of in deep concentration here, trying not to break this thing. And it's not a real big piece, so it's it is a challenge to get something out of them, of course, and uh, still have anything left of it.
we got this hump in it. And it ain't Wednesday, so it ain't hump day, so we're not leaving it in there. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try and take a couple strikes off this bottom to flatten this tip out some. if I just kept picking away at it slow. I'd eventually get it. That seems like I did, so pause this for just a second. Alright, I had to get rid of that sweatshirt. That heater's got it cooking in here. So, 
I know I really should do all this before beforehand. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to make out of this yet. I was leaning towards a Kyokia or a uh, I was also thinking about a pine tree my nails loose Just make a little dovetail, I don't know. So this is at the very end of the nail, I'm sure. Problem is I don't have any I'm waiting on a couple uh, things of nails to show up. And I don't think I got any more of this size. That's a kind of a tough spot right there. thought the stressful part was over. <laughs> Honestly with this pad it's not very stress free.
I got a little bit of a lag in my monitor, so I'll do the best I can here. layer right there may lose the tip So what do you think? Think we ought to use a nacho matic on this one?
never used it on Flint Ridge. Guess we're having everyone over for dinner tomorrow. Ow! That went through the glove and that cut really, really deep. That drove that right into my hand. And it's because this is missing. We're gonna do something different and we're not doing that again that dude right there deep you can see it bleeding through the glove so yeah we won't be doing that one again I ain't gonna lie that one stings a bit <laughs> I'd rather take a hundred bee stings than that right there. I know, I act like I got my arm cut off on. Now I'm starting to wonder if there's still a piece of it in there. As sore as it is. Someone asked me, they said, uh, I can't figure out pressure flaking. Said I this is I'm I feel, I feel like I'm pressing really hard. I said, I, said, I can't can't tell you how hard you're pushing, but I said, but I can tell you, you do have to put more when you're new, you probably have to put more pressure than what you think you might have to. And uh he tried it and uh, he just wasn't applying enough pressure, which I went through that too when I started.
He says, well, I don't know how you pressure flake like that all day. I said, well, I don't pressure flake all day. And uh, you really do get built up to it. It don't happen overnight, but you definitely get built up to it. Most flint nappers, I think, that nap a lot, they they develop some abnormally high hand strength that you might not normally get unless you're into if you're uh, working something in construction that you're really using your hands a lot every day, all day long, non-stop. Then build a lot of hand strength that way too but strong hands and weak minds <laughs> that's what it takes to be a flint napper strong hands and weak minds I got the napper scar. I don't know if you can see that. That's from slipping off with the pressure flaker. I got another one over here. And I've met a couple of nappers that uh, had a whole lot more than that from the same thing. So I think we all kind of develop the same kind of stuff eventually. I haven't napped long enough that I'm got all the scar tissue built up that all the guys have got. From repeatedly being cut in the same place all the time. I don't have that yet. Kind of thick. It may only be like four to one or something like that. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Thirty. And that's eight. So it's even less than four to one. Or even more than four to one? I don't know, how would you say that? Less, more, something, something that effect. much thicker than I normally make points.
Feels thinner. Got a hinge right there. I'm gonna have to see about popping that off there, I guess.
I guess since I can't seem to talk, I'm gonna have to put some music to this or something. <laughs> I can't do that either because I get a copyright strike. This thing is so delicate now that I'm not sure that I'm comfortable using a nachomatic. It's probably actually the safer option, but I'm not sure that I have enough experience with it to trust it in this particular. When some are quit, you're knocking my stuff over. it is when you get a piece of flint ridge in your hand you start getting nervous You know what? What the heck? Let's uh let's do it. Let's nacho it. Quit.
see what we can do, Nacho. We'll see. If I remember right, I gotta get rid of this. It's been five minutes since I used it, so I forgot how to use it. It's been a lot longer than that. <laughs> Just barely, barely on it. I done goof that one up. Well, I guess I got to put these two pieces together because I uh, just lost the end of this. I was <laughs> fixing this notch or goofing it up, whichever way you want to look at it here. I had to widen it out some, and somehow or another, my it quit recording, but I'll have to piece them together. So the notches are going to be a little larger than I probably would have wanted, but it's all right.
I still need some practice with this tool. pressure here. I need to gather some, I don't have all the materials I need to make a pad. There's one, there's one aspect of it that I just haven't decided on what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it yet. Actually, I know what I'm, I know what I'm going to do, I just... sure the material
it still has this uh, little hinge right there that I am not very happy about. Could I get it with the Nachomatic? Maybe, but it's also very delicate right now, so. Or it feels delicate, and I'm not willing to I'm not willing to break it to get rid of that. I guess is what it comes down to. That's what all this pulling napping comes down to I mean it's risk versus reward right but I quit on that last point uh, the obsidian uh, wind dust hot hot way that way um, I quit on it and then right after I got off camera then I decided I couldn't live with those fat spots so I got rid of them I did that part off camera I've done that several times if uh, usually I fix it on camera but I was gonna leave it alone I've been struggling a little bit with obsidian to keeping everything consistent and I've just been struggling with it here lately And uh, that's that's harder. Obsidian's harder for me to nap than than uh, right now currently than you know some semi tough Edwards or something like that. You know. Yeah. So we got this. This little hinge right here. Need to zoom out just a little bit. We're zoomed in quite a bit here. All right. That's our point right there. Is it straight? Can't tell if it's straight. Actually, it looks like this tip needs to go that way some, so we're not done yet. Need to move that tip over just a bit. I need to get rid of this glove. Alright, I think that's all we're going to do to it, actually. I think we're good. Alright, well, there she is. Cover up my bloody hand. That's where that thing's stuck in there. <laughs> Cover that up. 
there's our Flint Ridge uh, Keokia Point. She's pretty. I like all this little stuff in there. But uh, she's a pretty little point, and she is pokey. That would definitely penetrate something real easy. But anyhow, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll patch these two together, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Keep napping.